Sanders, now members of an organization known as CAN, the Compassion Advocacy Network, has been reaching out to seniors who may be alone and living in nursing homes. CAN also reaches out to needy children in pretty tough neighborhoods. Reverend Jonathan Stanley is here. He's the co-founder and chairman of the Compassion Advocacy Network, or CAN, and Mrs. Jan Marie Holzberger is the senior vice president in charge of the NOW program, specifically looking to reach some of those children. And I'm hoping that there are lots of ways that the community can help you yes. reach out to those folks yes. who, you know, whether they're very young children in some of those rough neighborhoods or seniors in nursing homes can easily feel forgotten. Yes, this is one of the reasons why we created the Operation Sweetheart program with the Sweetheart bag. Mm -hmm. See, after they get their, um, their, their funding, their Social Security, they have $30 to live on. That's really not enough to get underwear or a puzzle book or just something that we take for granted, the tissues, mm -hmm. the extras. We try to provide those extras. And by the end of Christmas time, by the, by, uh, by the end of the year, beginning of the year, we'll actually have about 100 of these a month going out mm -hmm. to all of the different residents in yep. each of the different um, nursing homes. And I know that you're helping the nursing homes themselves too because, you know, you, you said the individual residents, they're on fixed incomes, yes. and I shouldn't have said extras. I mean, yes. these are like extras of the basics. Yes. Um, but even yes. the nursing homes are getting their budgets cut, so yes. it's, they can't do as much as, as maybe And now we're, like. we're trying to also work with other people to get wheelchairs and hearing aids and eyeglasses. See, one of the things people don't understand is that if they have a wheelchair and they die, a lot of times only given so many wheelchairs, that wheelchair is passed on to someone else. Yeah. It, they don't have a sense of dignity. The whole point of the Compassion Advocacy Network is to create the dignity and give a better quality of life to mm -hmm. people that are forgotten. This is just two of the populations. There are many more. Yeah. And so we, we feel very fortunate to be able to work with these people and be a blessing to them. Let's talk about the other population too, the children. Uh, what do you see the need? Obviously they have different needs than some of the seniors. but. Are you surprised and troubled by the amount of children that also feel like no one's caring for them and about them? Oh, definitely. Um, what we see a lot with these children, and primarily inner city children, they living in poverty, or in some cases extreme poverty, some cases homelessness. What we find there is that they face isolationism, extreme isolation. Their families don't have vehicles, or if they have vehicles, they don't have gas for the extra, or they don't have money to take their children to, um, cultural events and things that we would take for granted and the public school systems because of the financial needs and the the cutbacks yeah. they're not doing field trips anymore or things like that so we go down into the neighborhoods and we make contacts with these families and contacts with the children and we provide them field trips we take them out of their neighborhood to the community at large to show them all the opportunities that this world, this big world, has to offer them mm -hmm. that they're not going to see in their neighborhood or riding the school bus just to their, to their school and sure. then back to their neighborhood again. And so by doing this, we're breaking that isolationism and we're exposing them to the community at large, to cultural events, to things that they wouldn't see before. Many of them, they live two miles from the downtown yeah. tunnel but have never been through it. Right. So to them, when we come to the Virginia um, Sports Museum, yeah. The tunnel was almost as much fun to them as the right. museum was, but we also try to meet um, needs as we encounter them. And one of the big needs for these people that live in poverty or homelessness or things like that is school supplies for their children. Mm -hmm. So we had a goal of 50 backpacks this year, and because of the generosity of our sponsors, we uh, were able to meet do 70. All right, and, that's great news. And we have another sponsor on board, so we're hoping to do 140, maybe 200. Well, let's let folks know how they can help you with all of those efforts, too. Uh, you can reach the Compassion Advocacy Network and also the NOW program, P.O. Box 9796 in Virginia Beach, Virginia, or you can call 485-3811 to see what you can help. Remember, a little bit of compassion goes a long way on your part, so do what you can. Thanks so much to both of you for coming on Thank today. You so Thank you so much for having us. Nice in high definition.